Welcome to a demonstration of CanTop, a plug-in hybrid display. My name is Andrew, its creator, and I will be explaining and demonstrating its functionality for you. First, I'd like to start off with what CanTop is. Uh, essentially, what I've done is I've written a program that taps into the car and pulls off information uh, that is pertinent to uh, the, the kind of the functionality of the car. For example, RPMs, miles per hour, uh, throttle, brakes, uh, and, then, and then some of the more uh, interesting things such as voltage, amperage, battery state of charge, uh, things like this that would be important for a plug-in hybrid conversion. Um, as you can see here, uh, the uh, there are a number of different fields. Uh, you can see that there's a, a, a state of charge display, a voltage display, an amperage display, uh, as well as several meters uh, that display RPMs, miles per hour, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, I, as as I um, tap the throttle and the brakes, you can see that these these values are real time. That there's a, a small delay, but but uh, the the uh, the, the overall effect is the same. Um, and then down here in the left corner, you see some thermometers. Uh, the values are, of course, in uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, we have our battery temperature, uh, engine temperature, and then the, the outside temperature, or the air intake temperature. Um, I also have a number of graphs here. For example, uh, this, is a, this graph is an amperage graph. It shows the uh, relative inflow or outflow of amperage. Um, from the original Toyota battery, um, and uh, as this uh, in a moment here, I'll drive the car and you'll see that this will change. Uh, as well this the state of charge here, um, this is a, a graph of the, over the past five minutes or so, um, and as you can see, it, it remains relatively constant, uh, and that's of course due to the plug-in hybrid conversion. Uh, this is also a, this is another graph, a voltage graph uh, that we'll 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 track. Um, and then these two buttons are, they don't do anything right now, but eventually they will integrate into uh, the CAN control board, which is uh, what our conversion uses to, uh, to operate. It tells the batteries when to parallel and so on and so forth. Um, and then up here we have the DCL and the CCL. Uh, the DCL on the on the left indicates the current amount of discharge that the battery is capable of doing, and then the on the right the current charge limit, which is how much the battery can be charged in amperage. I'm going to drive around a little bit so you can see some values, uh, some real time values. Um, and again, uh, right now I'm in electric only mode. That's what that green light means. Uh, EV mode for those of you who are not familiar with the, with a plug-in hybrid conversion. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the the throttle you can see is changing colors based on how hard it's I'm pushing, uh, and the red is indicates that I am exceeding the amount uh, that if I want to stay in EV mode, I should back off the pedal. I'm going to go ahead and kick it out of EV mode here so that you can see the RPMs, which just went up. Uh, the green light turned off, indicating we left EV mode. And now the RPMs are going up. Uh, and we'll see down here the, the voltage is changing. I'm going to switch it back to the temperatures, the thermometers. You note that they will begin to change as the engine ICE uh, begins to warm up. Uh, those again are also real-time thermometers uh, pulled from data off the CAN bus. I should note that uh, the way that we are tapping into the car is using a CAN bus to USB converter that we ourselves built. If you are interested in this, uh, please feel free to let me know and I can get you one. Uh, and also, if you are interested in developing any of the software here, all of this software that you see is very easy to modify and very easy to uh, to update. But this is just a general uh, introduction, a demonstration of uh, what CanTop is and how it works. And uh, it's very simple to modify. If you're a developer and you're interested in working on this, feel free to let me know. Um, and uh, I would be happy to work with you. Thank you.